Do you look it? Okay, so what's new in, uh, in the embossing realm is a little gadget called a shadow press station. And I call it a little gadget because this is all it is, okay? I think people were expecting some big giant tool or whatever, it's like, rah, no. Shadow press station is just this. I think it retails for like $4.99. But what it does is it really kind of changes the way we can use our shadow press. If you're not familiar with these, these are little sticks that will deboss a drop shadow. You can put it onto paper, onto cards. Here, I'll just show you on a manila tag. If I go to put this in, I'm just going to put it in on its own, place that in, I'm going to boss it. Now, these are sold in uh, sets of six words. We even have a set that has all of the months. So if you're doing any sort of journaling or planning, you can do the entire month set, which is, that's really great. You can do it for birthday cards or anything like that. But when we run this through, the shadow press, of course, is going to create that drop shadow. Really cool. And just that on its own is really impressive because you can see that drop shadow in there. But it's also fun to add color in there, add color in the drop shadow. And before we would say, okay, you could go in and you can take your marker and you can color into that. You can still do your blending tool over that. But if you want to ink the actual folder and you're using an ink pad, you have to be really careful when you're touching that because an ink pad is squishy. So even if you're really careful just trying to hit the surface, chances are you're going to get ink somewhere else. And when that happens and you run it through the machine, you will see it. So that's what the shadow press station is designed to eliminate. So what it is, is it is this template basically that has this recessed track on the back. It's got these little support feet on the end and this tab on the other end to hold on to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my shadow press and any of your folders, obviously there's an Indian and an Audi. Okay, we're gonna go on the Audi. That's what we want. And we're gonna place this down and this goes right over your shadow press and it just locks in, sits right in there. Those little feet just allow you to hold on to it so it doesn't move around. So we're gonna lock that in place. Now, I'm going to work with a brayer. Now, I like to use Ranger's Mini Brayer. That's the brayer that I tested it with. That's the one that I use. So already people are saying, well, can I use this brayer or that brayer? You're gonna have to see what brayer works. I have tried using a soft rubber brayer. That doesn't work because it's too soft. So when I'm rolling it, it pushes down. I've tried an acrylic brayer, which is too hard. So when I ink over it, it doesn't wanna transfer the ink. So just find something that works. What I like about this particular brayer is I can use permanent ink, I could use distress ink, I could use paint if I wanted to do paint so because I wanted something opaque, but I like the fact that I could ink up my brayer, and if I was inking up my brayer, like I am right now, I'm rolling and lifting. Whenever you ink up a brayer, you always want to roll and lift so you're coating the entire roller. You don't want to just go back and forth. Then when I'm getting this ready, I can flip this brayer over and it has little feet that will allow it just to sit there and not get ink on my surface. Okay, that's so I can, awesome. yes, so I can make sure that that's in place. Now I can pick it up. And now when I roll over it, I'm only hitting the high points. It's one of those duh tools, but you only hit the high points. Then I can flip that over, set it back down. There's my tab, easily lift it off. And now I can run this through. This is one, it's one of those little gadgets that just make it easy. That's it. Yeah, it's really cool. So I'm gonna place that down. Now, I like to work with the smaller cutting pads for that top layer, you know, something like an on the edge cutting pad because you don't need to have the entire thing, but as long as you have the top cutting pad, it's gonna work. Ooh, thanks. It's kind of like coin dozer, right? Pushing it right <laughs> off the edge. And now we've added that bold color as a drop shadow. It's pretty cool. It's cool. Now another fun thing that I like to do, even if you're not using regular ink, is you can do the exact same thing with embossing ink. So do clear embossing ink over it, ink that, run it through, it's going to deboss embossing ink, take it out, pour embossing powder which will fill all of the wells with embossing powder like gold or silver, and then heat emboss it and it's going to fill the wells with embossing enamel. Okay, that's it's cool. cool. It just, yeah. to me it just takes shadow press to a whole different thing. I mean I still love the whole cleanliness of just shadow press. It's still very cool to put that in there, but sometimes you just want a little punch. Like, for example, it's a great sample that Rochelle did on cork. This is the new cork surface from Ideology. You know, sometimes on a background that has a lot of texture, even that drop shadow is going to disappear, but the ability to ink that drop shadow, it's a game changer. Cool little gadget. It's a shadow press station. It is. It's so simple. So when you think, oh my gosh, a whole nother thing that I need to worry about, it's like, really? It's $4.99. It's going to change the world. 
Yeah. It is. Yeah. And you can put it in your pocket. <laughs> you can. Did you think That's of that really in the middle fun. of an aisle? Well, you know, I was, I did kind of create a very rough mock-up when I sent it to them. It was out of cardboard and tape and yeah. <laughs> But the, the problem was whenever I would, because I would make a template out of chipboard, but when you brayer over it, you're putting pressure. So the height of that chipboard, you know, would obviously compress over time and then it would defeat right. the purpose and you have to make it again. I'm like, can you just make it out of plastic, <laughs> you know? But then, of course, from the, the brain side of physics is Kevin. He's like, so we can engineer it with a little groove and we can have these little thing on the back. And yeah, he takes awesome. an idea and makes it better. Okay. The same way EL takes an idea of mine, because EL does all of, this is EL, by the way. Hi. 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 She takes all of my ideas and turns them into product. Awesome. She does. She's the one that I'm like, so I want a little scribbly handwriting die. And she's like, okay, <laughs> let's talk about this. It can only be this wide and we need this much distance. and. She does all the figuring out wow. to make it work or fit things on a die. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. Impressive. Yeah. You can't do it alone. You have to no. have good people. You have to have people that will Absolutely. figure out what you're trying to say and people that will create the visions in your head. Yeah. yeah. It is. When you have a, sometimes I just have ideas and she's like, okay, well, well, let's work on that. Yeah. Let's, let's see how you, how you want to do it. So.